All right, so um, still wearing the same shirt from last night. No shame in my game. Um, anyways, and plus I've been like kind of recording like yesterday's video and today's video kind of like all at the same time. So anyways, okay. As you guys can hear, yes, I'm sick. Um, I am feeling better. My husband's like, my husband was like, why don't you go and get tested for COVID? And I said, well, I technically don't have any of the symptoms. Um, and when I called my doctor, she said it was likely just a cold um, because I have like a 99.9 slash .9 100 temp. So it's like it's pretty low grade and a temperature is classified as anything over 100.4. Um, and I just have like a sore throat um, and then just I have a headache and like congestion. Um, anyway, so and then I just I do have like a little bit of like body aches and chills. So anyway, she said it was more so like cold flu, especially since it's not in my lungs. Plus I'm not in the, in the, um, like the age group or, um, like in that risk group to be able to be tested anyways. So, um, COVID or not, I have no idea, probably just a cold and I did get it from the kids. So the kids had like this like bubbly, gurgly, like nose gunk going on, um, so anyway, I think I got it from them. Actually, Kaya got it first. Riker's always been kind of like gurgly over the past couple weeks. Um, so anyways, I, I think I got it from them. I, I think Riker actually is like getting it at the same time as me. But anyway, I'm heating up some lunch. I was just showing you guys on my Instagram story. I'm actually on my quote unquote lunch break from work right now. Um, Riker is napping upstairs. Kaya is laying on the couch and watching Arthur right now. Um, who remembers Arthur? There's like a new Arthur out. I don't know, YouTube Kids is playing it. So anyway, um, figured I would hop on here quick, tell you guys how I'm feeling with this sickness that I have. Um, and yeah, just haven't talked to you guys in a few days because I've been so busy. Working at home is not easy. Working from home is much harder than going into the office and working, actually, if I'm admitting. Um, I do enjoy it. I love it because I'm kind of like in my own element. Sorry, my garbage is on my counter. Um, it's like I'm in my own element and I feel like comfortable. I can like share or I can like play whatever like videos I want in the background, but like keeping the kids on a schedule, like a routine, and keeping them entertained is kind of hard. Um, but that homeschooling routine has been going really well. I just interact with Kaya um, and get her set up for a few things, and then she kind of takes it off on her own, um, which is super nice because then it gives me lots of time to get my work done. But instead of like doing a 10 hour work day, I'm working pretty much from like 6.30 a.m. until about 8 p.m. every single night, just making sure I'm getting all my stuff done. So it's been difficult and I know that it's temporary and I should be super thankful and I am. I'm very, very thankful to be able to work from home and I do enjoy it. It's just, it's very challenging. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So it's just challenging, especially now with me being sick. Kaya, why are you making weird hippo sounds? Anyway, okay, so I've got um, soup here that I wanted to talk about really quick too. Um, I make the best. It's like a cheesy like enchilada like white chili. I don't know how to explain it, but it has like black beans and rotel and chicken and cream cheese and fiesta nacho cheese soup in it and chicken broth and like a bunch of like yummy like spicy seasonings. If you guys want a recipe for that, leave it in the comments down below. I finally uploaded my tamale recipe and like my recipe videos aren't the most like popular on my channel but i know a lot of you have asked for that so that's why i uploaded it but anyway if you guys want to see more recipe videos or if you'd like to just see like a like a cooking clean with me i can definitely do that too once i'm feeling better but anyways all right i'm gonna eat the soup and then we're gonna go on to the next portion of homeschooling for kaya and i will show you guys that okay kaya are you ready to make a terrarium uh -huh. Okay, so the first step in making a terrarium is you need to have your jar, which you have your jar, and then... I don't want my stickers though. Yep, I know. I don't know where those went. That's yeah. why you don't open the box without mommy, okay? Okay. Okay, 
So then we are going to put a little bit of potting soil down like this. Okay, and now it's gonna be your turn next. Okay, your turn next. So I'm gonna let you put the sand in. The sand in, yay. <clears throat> Here you go. Thank you. Okay. And you pour it, yep, pour it in. Yep, make sure it's even. There you go, pour some more in. Yeah, there you go, and some more. Good job. All right, and after the sand, it says we need to put rocks in. So can you scoop up all your rocks you spilled on the table and put them in here? No, it's all dirty. Nope. Yep, we gotta put those in first, honey. Those rocks need to go in first. Yep. Look, this is good. Season. Nope, not yet. Nope, let's get all these rocks in. Actually, the next thing that I need you to do is to go take this garden mister and go fill it up with water, okay? So take the rest of your rocks, and pour them in. Good job. No. Oh, there's some more in there. There you go. But, and now it says to mist it. You wanna try? Yeah. Good job. And we're going to pour the rest of this in. You wanna try it, Kai? Yeah. Here you go. Yep, all the way in, all of it. Whoa. Too fast? Just me to spray it? Spray it. It made me nice and poison. <clears throat> it says use the mister bottle and water to dampen each layer as you go. Once the layers are complete, mist the top Ooh. soil until it is very damp. Good job. Eat. Okay, and mom's gonna do the rest of it. We're gonna do all this water on the soil because that's gonna help us grow our seeds. Can we seeds. eat it? Can we eat it? What's up? Can we eat it? No, we're not gonna eat it. This eat. is gonna help us grow our seeds though. Okay? That's poison, though, right? Oh, I, no, I says one spray. It says set your rabbit and your mushroom inside. So put them inside where you want them, where you're gonna be able to see them all the time. Okay. It says sprinkle a few chia seeds and wheatgrass seeds onto the damp soil. So let's look at this and see where they have everything. Okay, so they've got chia and wheatgrass. Okay. Those are seeds. Can I add the seeds? I'm gonna, I'm gonna add them in. Okay? We're not doing a whole bunch. Just pinch a little bit. And then sprinkle them in. Okay, and grab a little bit more. And sprinkle them in. Press spray? Nope, not yet. And then we're gonna do these ones. Here, I say Let's put, okay, can we, let's put your bunny and your mushroom down here so when the grass grows, we can still see them, okay? Sound good? Because otherwise the grass is gonna cover them and sprinkle them in there. Why is it so quiet? I don't know. And then we'll just kind of we'll do this. Mm. 
pick. Now I have to pick. Mom, let's just squish them in. You are absolutely right. That is exactly what we're gonna do. Here, let's get a couple more big tall grass seeds in the back. And I think that will pretty much do her. Mom, I'm gonna do the rest. Okay, nope, nope, we're not gonna pour all of it in though. That's what it says, don't do all of them. So, now it's, it says we need to squish them in. So, push them all in, yep. Actually, you know, you know what, would, what would work really well is to use this. Use this and squish them all into the soil. Like that. Can, Can you I do, do that? It? Yeah. Okay. No, not, not, not too, too hard though, okay? Okay. Okay. Is that where do you want the mushroom here or here? Uh there. There? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. And then we're gonna close this. Days, what will happen is um, your grass is gonna start growing like this. So we're gonna go put this. How about the bumblebee? Yeah, I don't know if there'll be a bumblebee in there or not, but we're gonna see. We're gonna okay, we're now at the pen I would. Um, I've been working my butt off with my my work stuff, so I just wanted to touch base quickly on like homeschooling um, and working from home and how that all works. So I work Tuesday through Friday, um, about 10 hours a day. Um, usually a little bit more than that if you combine all of my time together um, but at home my I have to chunk my time up so it's usually in like two hour two and a half hour portions because with the kids around um, it just gets to be a little bit more difficult not difficult a little bit more challenging okay I, I really do enjoy working from home and I do really well working from home um, you just have to set yourself up for it for it to be enjoyable for you and your kids um, so what I have done is I have gone onto Amazon and I showed you guys in yesterday's video all of the all of the like little activity things that I'm buying and it's not like they're not expensive things you guys they're not I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on like homeschooling supplies and, and activities and things like that I am it's you know it's 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 very affordable things I'm just getting cheap stickers and foam stickers and construction paper and we're doing like um, like learning books and like chicka chicka boom boom um, let's see what else I got like an Easter themed book because we've got Easter coming up soon um, and then I did that terrarium for like a science project for Kaya so anyways that's these are just some of the like fun things that we've been doing and what we'll do is so we start out our morning with circle time um, and we talk about the letter of the day um, what day of the week it is what month it is um, and then we sing all the songs that go along with that so like the month song the day of the week song um, and then we go over the letter of the day like I said and then I will show her another like interactive video showing her like the letter B so like Sesame Street type videos where it's like the letter B buh, buh, B you know and just like goes over the sounds and the phonics and the letter itself um, and then that's when we this is usually during breakfast time and we just kind of transition into um, some more independent work now Riker what I have him doing in the meantime he's eating breakfast while we're watching these um, learning videos and then once Kaya starts working on like her letters in her book then I will put Riker inside of his play crate and I will usually give him a baba and a few toys and he is good to go you guys his play crate it's like a play pen you guys have seen it in a lot of my other videos it's pr it's fairly big for him it's plenty of room for him keeps him out of stuff um, but what I will what I will do for my work stuff then is like I will work from like 6 to 8 30 a.m. Um, because the kids wake up right around 8 30 in the morning sometimes a little bit earlier but usually 6 to 8 30 I have a good chunk of time to be able to come downstairs 
get my work done. It's quiet. The kids aren't awake yet. I make myself some coffee. Um, I don't eat breakfast at that time, but I just come down and I um, start working on my work stuff. Um, I keep like gesturing this way because my work computer's right here. But um, and then that's you know after that, kids wake up. I make breakfast. We do circle time, and then following that. Um, is when we will do um, more independent work and then I will sit down and Kyle, Kyle will work on letters and kind of go through books um, and just kind of play around with the things that I've provided her uh, for about a couple hours um, which is really nice for me because then I get another couple hours stretch um, and then after the Kaya's done with that oh that's not good um, and then after that we'll have um, a little bit of a snack or maybe even an early lunch depending on how hungry she is Riker goes down for a 10 30 a.m. nap Riker is napping um, about one time a day he'll nap from like 10 10 30 to about um, 1 1 30 sometimes 2 it really depends on how he's feeling that day right now I feel like he's gonna take a longer nap today because he's not feeling very well but he does take one really really good nap for me um, so then I'm able to get a lot done too. As soon as Riker wakes up um, is when I will feed him lunch. Um, just because like, you know, he goes to bed at like 10.30, 10, 10.30 in the morning, it's hard to catch him for lunch before that. So anyway, so he'll do that. Um, and then Kaya, what she will do is um, I, after our circle time, then we have some like um, like reading rainbow things. So like uh, they have this really cool like reading in space and they've got like a weather channel, like learning thing going on right now in my local area. So you can learn about the weather. Um, it's a lot more screen time than I would prefer her to be having, um, but it's, it's still informational and she, I feel like she's still taking a lot out of it. Um, and then we have art class in the afternoon and then we usually end with um, For like learning stuff. We usually end with either math or science um, And then math I've got like a workbook um, for her to go through and like look at her math stuff And we do math and science math and science um, and then on the science days We do usually like some fun things on Fridays. We always have science um, And so we do science projects and as you guys will be seeing we did a terrarium um, for um Kaya's science project today so oh. um, and as you guys saw earlier we did um, Kaya's science project now we usually will do science in the afternoon but today she was so excited to do her terrarium so we did that in the morning um, but then at the very end of the day what we like to do to wrap everything up is um, we like to do like a dance class or go for a walk or um, just kind of play outside in her little cheap or whatever it may be just to like be outside or to move around like that's her like by ed time if you will um, we don't have like a, like a playground in our back or anything that they can play with once the snow melts, we'll get the trampoline up, um, and we will, um, I will likely have her out there doing that. But anyways, um, so that's just kind of like an overview of what my day looks like, and then Mike gets home around 4, 4.30, um, and then I'm able to get another, like my last like good two hour stretch of work in there. Like I said, um, I work about 10, 11, maybe 12 hours a day sometimes. Um, just depending on like how many two hour stretches I can get in there. So I'll do like two hours, take a half hour, two hours, take a half hour, two hours, take a half hour. So you see what I mean? Like there's more little breaks in there. So I just have to stretch my day out. And sometimes I am able to just sit and do my stuff and I don't have to take those half hour breaks in between. Um, it just depends on like how um, busy Kaya is for that day. But anyways. All right, now that you guys know, like in a nutshell, I've been chatting to you for nine minutes, but I feel like it's a lot of really good information and I hope that gives you guys a really good idea of like how to come up with a routine for um, your kids during this quarantine self-isolation time. Um, and a lot of us are working from home with our kids at home. So I feel like it's just, it's challenging. And um, I feel that we can all just kind of throw our, our ideas and our routines out there um, and share them with each other uh, to hopefully uplift and inspire each other. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna eat the soup and then I'm gonna get back to my work before um, Yeah, before the kids are not calm anymore. <laughs>